you know who I'm dressed up like. Tony Montana from Scarface. So now you know how to dress up like him. Let's talk a little bit about Tony Montana and another legendary gangster story. Michael Corleone. Let's compare from the very beginning. Their style. Michael Corleone is very classy. He has his slick back hair neatly combed, a nice tie, nice Ivy League suit. He looks like he's well cultured, has a well back, good background, he's born rich, privileged. Tony Montana is new money. He doesn't know how to spend money, he just spends it because he has it. He doesn't know how to dress up or how certain things are made. I mean, have you seen anyone who's trying to be classy who's rich? Put his collars like this. He wants to show, look, I'm wearing gold chains, three gold chains. He wants to show his jewelry, his accessories, his watches, his house. He owns a bloody tiger in his house and everything. All the old big cars. He's, he's new. He's hungry for that. Michael Corleone grew up with that. He's satisfied. He's class. He actually likes to hide it, that he's rich, he's born rich, he's suave. But he's different like that. Then their origin story. If you look closely into it, Marco Corleone went to an Ivy League school. He wanted to stay away from family business. He wanted to have his own identity. He went into, draft, got drafted into army as well. But somehow he got drafted, dra dragged into, pulled into the family business. But their origin story is very different. He's privileged, he's rich. He's around family all the time. He's full, he's not close to his family, but he's around family every single time. He has immense respect for his brothers, for his father, for his mother, all the other uncles, aunts, relatives, everyone. Michael was alone. He hadn't even met his mother. His mother kicked him out the day he came to the house. His mother didn't want his bloody money. He barely was in touch with his sister. He had one friend he was close with. I mean, he came from Cuba to America in a ship, in a boat, probably handmade boat, but he escaped that. He came from a rough background, very rough. He had nothing with him. He had no knowledge either how to make money. He just saw and learned and adapted and moved on. Origin story, very different. Which is why you see a lot of manners in Michael Corleone because he grew up around that, seeing that. Tony Montana saw bloodshed, streets, gangs, woes, all of that. Obviously, he doesn't know how to talk properly or with respect or, you know means his words at times obviously he's gonna talk like that his the way he walks even after he's rich you can tell the walk is different you can tell about the person's background number three my favorite how they express themselves their composure michael corleone likes to keep it quiet he's a man of few words he only speaks when it's necessary when it's needed he lets the eye do the talking he lets the silence do the talking he observes and then reacts accordingly he thinks every move through he likes to be 10 steps ahead of everyone who's against him tony montana is different he speaks from the heart he meets someone and he says i love your life because you're rich and you have everything if he sees someone caught someone lying he says it on his face if he sees someone he disagrees with he'll say it on his face if he doesn't like something it's on your face he, he puts he leaves his heart on his sleeve He's not the man who thinks before he speaks. He doesn't even think how powerful of a man against he's talking to. He just says it. He has no boundaries. And composure is, he's impulsive. He doesn't think through. Like towards the end of the film when he shoots his best friend. He didn't know they were going to get married. He just thought he was having an affair with his sister. And he didn't like it. And bam! Blood all over. That's, that's Tony Montana. Impulsive. Michael. He's like a chess player, probably the number one chess player. He's been against the most ruthless and powerful people and smart people as well, just like him. But he always had to be a step ahead of them. That's, that's Michael Corleone. That's the difference between Tony Montana and Michael Corleone. Moral code. For Michael Corleone, there's only one moral code, business. That's it. How to keep hold on to that power, whatever it takes. He saw his brother went against him once, he didn't hesitate. He waited for the right time, but he didn't hesitate. Tony Montana said no wife and kids. 
He had a rule. Even though he's doing the wrong thing, he had a moral code, a rule that I'm not going to touch the wife and kids because it's getting personal. It's too beyond his own moral code. He couldn't do that. It shows how and the reason why he joined this lifestyle because he just wanted money. He wanted something. He wanted that lifestyle. He wasn't attracted to the job itself. He was attracted to the lifestyle. But he couldn't let go of that moral code. He was always good with kids. He always respected the women all the time. That's, that's Tony Montana. The different moral codes. The choice of poison. Michael's poison is only one thing. If you get in the way of business, if you go against me, if you don't show loyalty, Tony Montana had several vices. He did cocaine, he drank alcohol, he smoked cigars. He liked everything excessive. If he did good excessively, he did bad excessively. That's why he had the world at his feet. The world is yours and everything in it. That, that's what he had. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Michael was careful. He didn't do drugs. He didn't drink that much alcohol. Probably a glass of wine with dinner with family. He never touched drugs. He never was uh, distracted by loads of women. Business was business, pure business. He made very smart, calculated moves. That's, that's Michael Corleone. He stayed away from that. The only thing he did was smoke cigarettes. That's it. Power consists of two things, respect and fear. Michael Corleone was feared more than he was respected. But Tony Montana, he was respected and feared at the same time. One could argue, oh, but Michael was this, he was respected. Yes. Are you sure he was respected or was he feared? Tony Montana had some people close to him from the very beginning. Michael didn't care who was close to him from the beginning because he always grew up with privilege. He preferred people feared him rather than respected because once fear goes away, you can bring it back. Respect. Once respect is lost, you can never earn that back. Which is why Michael behaved in a way where he only used fear. Pure fear. His own family members like his own wife stopped respecting him that's the difference between tony and michael in terms of the kind of power they had respect and fear or only fear death they both died a lonely death both died without anyone close to them around them michael's death was probably sadder because he was literally in a chair nothing around no gardens in a blank field and just fall fell down from the chair nobody even there to pick him up tony montana got attacked by an army of a man he went against and got shot right away and fell into his own pool in his own house he got everything every rich everything he desired he received it but at what cost he killed his own best friend his sister was angry at him his sister got shot by as well because of him he had nothing left after that what he thought was actually meaningful having so both died a very lonely death in my opinion. You could say Tony's death was more gruesome while Michael's was more sad. But if we have a competition, if Tony and Michael went up against each other in business, who do you think will win? In my opinion, there's only one person, Michael. He has not a strict moral code. He won't mind using every, anything against Tony. Tony will stop at a certain point as we all know from the film. He won't go against the wife and kids. Michael won't think twice. If, he has, if it's done for the business, it's done for the business. Michael had a better grasp of power. Michael expanded his business exponentially more than people imagined. Tony, he came from nothing and he had everything, but he couldn't hold on to that power. When he was losing money or he needed some help, he went out to the person, but he did it again. He couldn't let his moral code come into that, regardless of losing anything. He didn't think he could lose life in that process. Michael would have never done that. He would have gone through. That's the difference between Tony and Michael, which is why I think Michael versus Tony Montana, Michael would certainly be the better, stronger leader among the gangster genre films. So let me know what you guys think. Who is your favorite character, Tony Montana or Michael Corleone? If there's any other favorite gangster movie character you like, let me know in the comment section down below. Peace.